Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019 and uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Moon card. <clears throat> Quite interesting because the Moon card does represent the Pisces star sign in Tarot. Followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the Two of Swords for what it seems. Then uh, we do have the positive aspect of your week and that is going to be the King of Cups. And the last card here, which stands for the topic of the tarot is offering to you, we do have the lover's card, quite of a, a promising thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, that could unfold in either way is going to be quite of a promising thing for you guys. But before we go into that and pick up the, card, the cards one by one in the spread, uh, <clears throat> let's run them down one more time. So the first one that is going to be the uh, moon card followed by the next one which stands for the challenges here that is to be the two of swords. Afterwards we do have the king of cups as a positive aspect and in the last one here that is going to be the um, lovers card which stands for the guidance. Lovely. So uh, the moon card this is the topic and the team and is going to be catalyzed here by the page of wands. Passive enemies. Uh, so, um, as much as you will, you may want to have an, an some sort of an, an escape or some sort of a clear start, you know, some sort of a uh, some sort of a new enterprise. Let's say um, this is not going to be the the case here throughout the week. The week is going to be rather more. Um, I don't know how to say it. Well, I would say it that way. <clears throat> so throughout this week. You are, you are going to start experiencing uh, vagueness and as well insecurity for exactly that reason that you may not see anything that comes in the horizon as a new enterprise, as a new opportunity or as a, a message that you are, uh, that you are uh, expecting and etc. Et now important thing to know it is that in these kind of cases a person may fall into a, a fallacious um, fallacious expectations and as well may start daydream all right it may start falling into or giving himself away into fantasies that are not going to turn out true afterwards so what i'm trying to say here it is that the situation isn't as bad as you think it is i mean here in these two cards you may be in danger of falling into state believing into the doom and gloom of your life which is not the case at all as i said there is no opportunity on its own accord but doesn't mean that someone cannot give it to 
you, which is a completely different thing. Now, the important thing with these two cards, uh, Pisces, is that you shouldn't deviate from the path that you have chosen or from the person that you have chosen or from the work that you have chosen, consciously chosen, all right? Because those insecurities that you are experiencing are caused by the uh, cooking of the circumstances is what I like to say here. I mean, the circumstances are right now rearranging and not just only you're experiencing this um, insecurity, but everybody who is involved in, this, in these situations is also experiencing the same insecurity. So what is going to be the challenge here? We do have the Two of Swords and that is accompanied by the Five of Pentacles. And we do have a passive, uh, uh, active enemies, excuse me. So quite a peculiar uh, combination here. And it looks like that you, your challenge here is going to be to make a, a certain decision, all right? Decision for you how to proceed forward, but the challenge doesn't stop here as well. The decision will involve you maintaining balance and equilibrium. So that should not be only one sided decision at the end of the day, which is going to provoke dramas, is going to provoke dilemmas as well. But in reality, this decision should not be postponed <clears throat> beyond this week. So you got to take it no later than the end of the week, meaning 13th of October 2019. Now, important thing to be acknowledged, it is uh, with, these, uh, with these two cards, <clears throat> it is that while you may feel insecure, your um, sharp mind, I would say, will help you to overcome this, um, this state uh, of itself. And... Um, well, it's it's the realizing we are coming here to the realization that the problems you may be uh, kind of like imposing yourself to face are much smaller. I mean, they are kind of trifles in, in regards to what you are making them. So you are making the problems way bigger or way more impactful than they actually are. And that's uh, over exaggeration of the plights that you are to face, you are yet to face. Once again, I'm repeating because you're not facing them anymore. Uh, it is exactly what deprives you to uh, to make up your mind in regards to what? In regards to this person, uh, this person over here. That is the positive aspect of the week, and we do have the King of Cups, which is catalyzed here by the Seven of Swords. Wow. All right. So um, we have passive neutrals here and this is a, a very experienced and very gentle person, a, a person who is very balanced. Their decision making is very balanced, which calls for you to make a balanced decision as well. Their actions are very balanced and that person is capable of deep emotional contentment. OK. So I will not be surprised if at the end of the day you end up together as well, right? Or kind of like you make a um, relationship from brother and sister type of sort, all right? Or brother and brother or sister and sister and so on and so forth. It's kind of like you will, um, you will become very close. This is what I am trying to say here. So what kind of a role this person plays in your life? While they did not have to, they did offer you a, a chance. They did make you a attempting offer. And that is the decision you need to make. Should you take it or should you not take it? Now, with the previous cards, we are seeing that this uh, decision, uh, this offer, it kind of catches you off guard. It kind of catches you surprised. You don't know what to do because probably will involve you changing something with your routine or rather like, you know, adopting different uh, different standpoints, different positions in general. It may involve you, you know, adding a new responsibilities in your daily routine as well. But once again, this person saw something in you that is very well listed here. I mean, they didn't have to, but they did at the end of the day. Now, if this isn't an, an offer, that is a, a, a proposition for a help, which is quite sincere. And these two cards here are pointing that there is no need for you to turn away either of it, you know, either either the help 
or the offer that the king of of the, the king of cups is going to shoot you with and once again should you take the offer and should you start cooperating with them even if this is a, a business offer if you are single then uh, very well and you know you like each other i mean i guess you know what i mean so it's very um how can i say it it's more than possible for you to end up at the end uh, in romance, you know, in, 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 in relationship, marriage, who knows how far that thing can go. But definitely the emotional foundation, it is here that person cares for you and they want to see you um, thriving, right? It's not just only growing, but also thriving around them. And that thrive will happen as you spend time around them. Um, the last card here will represent the uh, guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Pisces. And that will be the uh, Lover's card, which uh, is catalyzed here by the Ten of Swords. And that only divulges to the decision making that you cannot um, delay it for long okay i mean that decision they, it does point that it's going to be a rough one probably you will have to give up from a something and from a something that you do possess right now you know you, you may have to give up from your current job you may have to give up from a a certain enterprise that you are or an endeavor that you are performing into so on and so forth but this this decision is going to be rough because it's irreversible as well i mean once you make it you have to play the game to the very end but additionally to that these two cards points that sooner or later you will have to make such kind of a decision and such kind of a an actions moving on forward and while it seems very difficult while it seems that you are breaking something within yourself or within your life as well actually that is the the threshold for you going toward a clearer skies toward a dawn all right toward a new era into one's life and those circumstances should not be fought for so <clears throat> additionally to that uh the guidance here urges you should there be flirting uh should there be a uh, more uh, how can i say it more emotional closeness in between you and that person king of cups to not fight it but to give yourself to it completely because like said a very beautiful relationship romantic relationship could, could come out of it but should you make well once you make that decision everything else will seemly will start light uh, lightening up what i mean is that your life is going to become more bearable your um uh, your daily routine is not going to be that rough anymore you're not going to feel that oppressed any longer and whatever uh, concerns you do have you know whatever uh, problems you have carried from the past they will start resolving themselves on their own accord or they will start lose completely relevance to you they will no longer be a subject of your attention the only subject of your attention from now on is going to be the king of cups and the world that this person is giving to you so that being said uh pisces this was your weekly tarot reading for a october 7th to october 13th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye